Hello. I'm thinking that our experiences in COVID times mean that missingness in healthcare is now of more concern to all of us. The motivation for doing this research, though, came from being a deep end GP. Patients who struggle repeatedly to attend healthcare are more visible in deep end practices. In a previous paper, we described this large population representative sample of patients from general practices in Scotland. We found that patients who missed more than an average of two GP appointments over the preceding three years was 19% of our sample. These patients were more likely to live in urban areas of high socioeconomic deprivation. Importantly, more deprived patients registered with GP practices in more affluent settings had the highest risk of missing appointments. The paper that won this award examined the morbidity and mortality outcomes for these patients. The key message about morbidity was that patients with more long-term conditions have increased risk of missing GP appointments, and this was when controlling for number of appointments made. But really shockingly, patients missing appointments were at much greater risk of all-cause mortality. And this risk increased with number of missed appointments independently of morbidities. The starkest finding though, was that patients with long-term mental health conditions missing more than two appointments per year had an eight times risk of all-cause mortality compared with those who missed none and for, with similar health conditions, I should say, too. These patients died at a younger age and commonly from non-natural external factors. So, missing appointments repeatedly at the patient level is a powerful marker for greatly risk, increased risk of mortality, and particularly among those without physical long-term conditions. And this is even after adjustment for all other mortality risks. This is the graphical representation of data of the data from the paper, which shows these risks. So I'm a GP. I know that feeling of relief when a patient DNA is an appointment and you can get caught up with something else. However, what this paper tells us is if we are to be serious about general practice making a contribution towards tackling health inequalities, if we are concerned about tackling premature mortality, and if we want to provide good quality general practice care to all of our patient population, then we need to take the findings from this paper very seriously indeed. When we think about solutions, they might be tech focused, they might be about coding DNAs, about following up on risk, about offering same day appointments to patients at higher risk. They might be relationship focused, it might be you want to identify um, a worker who might um, support a patient to engage in care. If you're already doing things to support patients who repeatedly miss appointments, I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in your practice being involved in future research about this, please do get in touch. Thank you. <laughs>